Shaver, who is dead because of the Mesa Police Department. He was traveling to Mesa from out of town. He worked for an exterminator company, and he had a pellet gun uh, that he used to kill birds, I guess, as part of his job. And so he was in his hotel room, and apparently other hotel patrons saw him with a pellet gun um, inside his room. And so they called the cops, cops show up, and what you're about to see is very graphic, difficult to watch, but here's how they handled it. And I want you to keep close attention to uh, Shaver's behavior, where his hands are, and how he did not pose a threat at all. Before we go to the video, can I, one more piece of important context. What was reported into the cops was something that resembled a rifle, okay? Mm -hmm. Now it turns out it was a pellet gun, but does it look like he's got a rifle on him? And does it look like they're training the cops in Mesa right? Graphic here. Extremely graphic, yes. This is one of the toughest videos to watch. But this is what cops are doing. We gotta show you so we can fix it and have them protect and serve. But for the moment being, this is what's happening. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. Get on the ground, both of you. Lay it down on the ground. Lay it down on the ground. Who else is in the room? Nobody. It's apparently we have a failure for you to comprehend simple instructions. I'm going to go over some of them again, okay? Can you both hear and understand me? Yes. All right. If you make a mistake, another mistake, there's a very severe possibility you're both going to get shot. Do you understand that? Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. What the this is, shut up. I'm not here to be tactful or diplomatic with you. You listen, you obey. For one thing, did I tell you to move, young man? Did I tell you to yes, sir. Yes, put sir. both yes, your sir. hands, yes, sir. Yes, sir. put both your hands on the top of your head and interlace your fingers? Take your feet and cross your left foot over your right foot. If you move, we are going to consider that a threat, and we are going to deal with it, and you may not survive it. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Okay, young man, listen to my instructions and do not make a mistake. You are to keep your legs crossed. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. You are to put both of your hands, palms down, straight out in front of you. Push yourself up to a kneeling position. I said, keep your legs crossed. I'm sorry. I didn't say this in conversation. Watch your hands. Jesus Christ, man. You think we don't need police reform in this country? What is wrong with you? If you, again, whether it's race or not race, look at those two, those two people were white. It's power versus the powerless. And one thing he said there stuck out to me. He said, you listen, you obey. For God's sake, conservatives, you should be on our side here. You're worried about big government power? I mean, does it get any more big government power than that? You listen, you obey to the government and play this insane, murderous Simon Says game. And then he was trying to do everything right and they mowed him down. You're telling me Mesa Police Department doesn't have problems? You're telling me that they didn't get trained to brutalize the citizens? No, there's no coincidence that large that one after another after another. They continue to brutalize the people they're supposed to serve. It needs absolute whole scale reform. By the way, the, one of the good things Obama did was he was trying to do reform of police departments that were notorious like Mesa. Now, Jeff Sessions and Donald Trump have come in. They stopped all reform and said, no, keep going. Uh, grand jury decided uh, not to uh, charge the cop who shot Daniel Shaver, so. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below. 
uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.